In this tip of the day, I like to demonstrate how you can easily add more control to the Z level finish command using one CNC. Now, in this example, you can see we have a part and we have an open 3D pocket. Now, you can see I've already applied a planar finish command to the floor of the pocket, and I've also applied a pencil mill command to the very perimeter of the floor of the pocket. All right, so what we need to do now is use the Z level finish command to finish these tapered walls right here. Okay, so the goal of this video is to show you how to add more control to the Z-Level Finish command. First of all, I'm going to need to turn on a boundary to help contain the toolpath. So we're going to turn our boundary on. That looks great. Let's quickly head over to the Command Manager, select Model Toolpaths, and then Z-Level Finish. Now for this machining operation, I'm going to be using a quarter inch diameter ball end mill. I'm quite happy with the speeds and feeds, so I'm going to go ahead and click Next on that. All of our clearances look great, so I'm going to click Next. All right, so here's how we're going to add more control to the Z-Level Finish command. We're going to activate this option called Pick Faces to Avoid. The reason why we're doing that is we don't need the Z-Level Finish command to machine the floor of the pocket. That's already been done by Planar Finish. Very good. So let's bring this back up here. All that looks great. We'll click Next on that. We're going to be using a constant depth of 25 thousandths, tolerance of 2 tenths. That looks very good. We'll click Next. We're going to use boundary type picked. That way I can pick this boundary right here. That's going to help contain the tool path. We'll click finish on that. We'll left click the boundary, right hand mouse click, and now we have the ability to select the surfaces that we want to avoid. So I'm going to left click there, right hand mouse click, and let 1CNC generate the tool path. Now it's kind of hard to see what's happening here, but on these transitional moves, these moves are not touching the floor of the pocket, and that's best demonstrated by taking all of this into Simulate. So let's right-hand mouse click. Let's select Simulate. I'm going to be using a solid model I created earlier for the stock, so we'll click OK to that. And here we go. So the first thing you're looking at here is the actual planar finish on the floor of the pocket. Then you're going to see the pencil milling along the perimeter of the floor. That's right there. And then here in this lighter color tone, you can see we're performing the Z-Level Finish command. And notice how that transition move for the Z-Level Finish command is never touching the floor of the pocket. Very, very nice. All right, so it's very easy to add more control to your Z-Level Finish command using one CNC. That's it for this tip of the day. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.